Hello, this is a video about the basic content you'll need for a simple website when you first first get a website. So on this page we've got the logo in the top left corner with your, like your logo or your business name, um, your tagline underneath it, um, and so the first thing first thing people do usually when they go to a website they look at the top left corner just to get an idea of am I in the right place does this business do what I need doing underneath that you want to summarize the, the service you offer or the product you sell what is it that you do make it clear who your typical customer is and what areas you cover if you only serve people in Bradford or Leeds or <coughs> pardon me um, Yorkshire wherever it is make it obvious who your typical customer is and whereabouts they are so they can think aha I need a plumber in Bradford and this is what this guy does so what comes next underneath you could put some photos of um, if you sell products you could put pictures of your products if you've got a team of service engineers or if you do coaching whatever you do you could put some pictures of the people who would actually deal with the customers so you could put um, this is Claire and she does um, life coaching or social media coaching whatever so people think immediately they can look at it and can see ah so this this is the person that would come and actually deal with my business testimonials testimonials are always useful and you could put a couple of testimonials on your, your home page just so that people get some idea that um, other people have dealt with your business and they were happy with the results they got so if you offer a menu pricing structure not everybody does but if you do um, you could put on your, your home page your front page just a basic idea of what package deals you offer and how much they cost and what you get for your money so that people can tell straight away this looks like it might be what I'm looking for obviously if, if you don't sell anything with less than £5,000 and they're looking for a £500 service or a £100 service um, they can tell straight away that uh, they can't afford it or that it's too cheap for what they're looking for whatever and then make sure they know what to do next tell them if you want them to contact you say contact us and make sure that there's <laughs> they know they can you know tell them how to contact you you might tell them to join your email list or download your free brochure whatever it is but whatever you want them to do next tell them what to do so this is what we're looking at this is what we're trying to do you need to convince your customers that you'll solve their problem easily with the minimum of fuss and at a price they can afford but there's a lot of questions going through your customers minds things like is this website useful to me because they've come from Google when they first land on your website they've no, no idea who you are what you do or anything or even what area you're in you could be in Zanzibar or Honolulu it's uh, that that's the way the internet works so once they've decided that you, they're in the right place you are a plumber in Leeds or whatever uh, they're thinking can they do the job are you trustworthy are you reliable um, if they give you the money will you produce the goods they want to know do you work with people like me do you only do industrial roofing or do you do uh, you'd work for homeowners and landlords or whatever uh, and do they like the people behind the business your website wants to make you look like a, a person who would be easy to work with and, and pleasant to work with you want you want your customer to think I'd like working with this person so some more things you need to explain who would you work with what is it like to work with you what happens when when they phone you up or whatever just give them a brief guide say when you when you contact us we'll go through this um, procedure you know we'll start with this and then move on to that whatever whatever you your normal workflow is tell them so they know what to expect what service or products do you offer you need to tell them what, what you're selling um, case studies testimonials before and after photos are useful you need an about us page and a contact us page you've got to have a contact us or at least some contact us details you don't actually have, have to have to have a contact us page but you need your contact details there so a unique selling point a 
A unique selling point is something that you offer that your competitors don't. So if there's anything that you can do that other people don't do, make sure that your customers know that. And it's got to be important to your customers. There's no point having a, uh, a unique selling point that nobody cares about. It's got to be something that your customers really want. Uh, and it's got to be difficult for your competitors to compete with or to, to sort of copy. So if there's anything that you can do that other people don't do or won't do, whatever, um, make sure your customers know, I do this, and you'll find it hard to find in somebody else that does it. Uh, and it's got to be easy and quick to explain. You don't want a unique selling point that takes you half an hour to explain what it is because your customers won't stick around to find out. Some famous ones are uh, FedEx shipping, and they when it absolutely positively has to be there overnight. So it's not just shipping, it's guaranteed overnight shipping. There's a firm called Finder, and it helps college students find jobs. It doesn't help everybody, it helps college students. So that's their unique selling point, that they just help college students find jobs. Head and Shoulders Shampoo, their, their unique selling point is you get rid of dandruff. So I don't know if they give you a guarantee. Um, so in a nutshell, what you're looking for, be concise and don't waffle. Get to the point quick, because they don't, the customers don't have all day, and they'll just go somewhere else if it takes too long. Um, use headlines and sub-headlines sub to make it easy for your customers to find the bit of information they, they need. Just have one big idea per paragraph. You don't want to put too much information all in one chunk. You want to write, write in bite-sized chunks so that um, it's easy for them to understand what's going off. If there's too much in a single paragraph, they get confused. Um, and your visitors, your site visitors, want the information quickly and easy, as easily as possible. So you don't, you don't want. There's a famous book called "Don't Make Me Think," and it's good. It's good advice. Don't make your customers think, because uh, the, the more thinking they have to do, the less likely it is that they're going to become customers. They'll just go elsewhere. Well, thanks for watching. I do. I do hope you found that useful. And bye for now.